Radical. The Nintendo PlayStation prototype has been sold for a whopping $360,000. That's about $360,000 more I'd pay for it, but, well, I'm not a rich person with money to burn, and I'm not a collector, so please tell me in the comment section down below how exactly it's worth $360,000. An old faded piece of plastic. Priorities. All I'm saying. Priorities. And that's more than a supercar. It's more than a couple supercars, but still, you know, collectors. The owner of Pets.com has money to burn, and he bought this thing. He bought this thing with the idea that one day he's going to have, guess what? A game museum. Where have we heard that before? Keemstar, John Hancock. Everybody seems to be wanting a game museum nowadays, right? For preservation, right? So... I don't really get my head around, well, buying this for $360,000. I mean, I know it's a it's a piece of history. It's part of a failed partnership between Nintendo and Sony. There was 200 and this one was the only one that was saved. All the others were trashed. Unless another one, you know, pops up somewhere, maybe it'll sell for $400,000, all right? I get it. I understand, you know, why it's interesting. I just humbly don't think it's worth three hundred sixty fucking thousand dollars it's basically, like I said before, it's a battle of the gay museums. John Hancock, Keemstar, and a new challenger approaches, Greg! I just think this is all silly. I mean, I get wanting game preservation. I get it. I understand it. But if they want this thing to be preserved, I know it'd be silly to spend $360,000 on something and then give it to a game museum. All right, but I'm wondering here... Is it just you want the bragging rights to say that you own this thing? Is that worth $360,000? Is that what goes through the minds of rich people that have nothing else to spend their money on but items like this? Here's what I'm wondering. If old Greg here spent $360,000, it's a lot of walking around money, it's probably his chump change. If he has that kind of money to spend on an old plastic toy from the 90s, ooh, that's going to trigger a lot of people. If he has that kind of money to spend on that, and he wants a game museum, uh, he don't have to go through no fucking non-profit to make it work, okay? He can actually probably just do it. So what does that mean for John Hancock? It's a real bad look. There's already a game museum in Texas. What happens if Keemstar gets his museum and Greg gets his museum? All these museums start popping up everywhere. Then it kind of takes the novelty away, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to have the 11th game museum around, okay? Uh, in, in my, in where I'm at, damn it, they just built up a game museum over here. Uh, I'm gonna have the best game museum on this block right here, on this road. I'm telling you, game museums are gonna start popping up everywhere. You missed the train, Johnny boy, you missed the train.